Mimi na waomba kunao viongozi vijana kutoka jamii ya wakikuyu ambao hapo jana walikuwa wamemkuamilia wame uhuru Kenyatta walikuwa wameshika koti ya uhuru Kenyatta ili wapate kuchaguliwa lakini wakati maneno yalienda mrama wakati ya tukuingia pale state house sasa wamegeuka wao ndio wanamtusi uhuru Kenyatta wao ndio wanamuita kwa disciplinary committee mimi ningependa niwakumbushe vile wahenga walisema usiwatusi wakunga uzazi ungalipo kwa hivyo tuwaheshimu wazee wetu tuwaheshimu wale ambao walitushika mikono tuwaheshimu wale ambao walitulea na tusifuate huo mfano mbaya wa wale viongozi ambao wanawahitaji wazee kupanda na wakishafika juu wanawapiga wazee mateke na nasikia sasa watu wameanza kulia kwamba uchumi imekuwa ngumu kwamba maisha imekuwa ngumu kwamba siasa ya Kenya inakani kama haina mwelekeo Raila Odinga amejitolea na amesema kwamba kamwe hata nyamazishwa na ataendelea kupigania haki za wakenya wawe wakubwa wawe wadogo kwa wale wadogo sisi kama wafuasi wa Raila Odinga tumeshikilia kwamba ile sheria ambayo imeletwa ya kupandisha ushuru hiyo sheria sisi na kina mwenje tutaenda kuipinga na tutafanya kila kitu ili hiyo sheria isipite maneno ya uchumi na maneno ya ushuru haijali mjaluo haijali mkikuyu haijali mluya haijali mzee haijali vijana maneno ya uchumi inatu inatu affect sisi sote na tumesema kama wale jamaa watanunua wabunge wenzetu sababu kuna wale ambao wananunuliwa ni kama ni mnada wakiwanunua na sheria ipite tutatembea tutaenda kotini tunao mawakili wa kutosha tutaenda kotini kwa sababu wale mahakimu pale kotini pia ni wakenya wanaumizwa ushuru ikipanda na tujiulize kama ile kamati ya bunge ya kuangalia hii maneno kila siku wakifanya mkutano kila mtu ambaye anajitokeza mbele ya ile kamati anasema hiyo sheria ni mbaya hiyo sheria ni mbaya tusipandishe ushuru itakuwaje kama kila mtu amekataa hiyo sheria sisi tutalazimisha wa Kenya kuipitisha namna hiyo kwa hivyo wakitulazimisha ipite bungeni tukutane kule kotini na mimi nina hakika na nina haki kwamba the judiciary will rescue us if the members of parliament cannot rescue the people of Kenya Raila Molo Dinga amesema atatetea haki hata za wale ambao wanaitwa mabwenyenye uhuru Kenyatta ni mkazi wa Kenya He is a citizen of Kenya with the same rights as Otieno Kajwang as Mwenje and as the smallest person. Kama mbuzi zake zinaibiwa, Raila Molo atajitokeza kumtetea. Raila Molo Dinga amesema, "Maina njenga, kama haki zake zinakiukwa, atajitokeza amtetee. Atatetea wakubwa na atatetea wadogo." Just to assure, assure you senator sisi kama wabunge kule national assembly we are going to force tutaskuma tufanye kitu inaitwa roll call voting roll call voting unajua inamaanisha nini mwenje asimame aseme yes or no na sisi tumesema mbunge wako akivote yes wewe ujue hii mwaka yote unaenda unakula kwake yule yote anavote yes unaenda kwake si ndio si amekuongezea mzigo kumaanisha lazima mgawane mzigo so hiyo mtajionea so asante sana oh, tulikuwa na sherehe ya kutawaza mmoja wetu ai patron wa Kiambu County wa KCE Kikuu Council of Elders na hiyo ni ni kitu tumempatia ili aende akashughulikie eh wabari ya vijana wetu ili tuwe na jukumu ya kumpatia tulikuwa na vijana tumepotesa kwa sababu ya pombe wengine ni kwa sababu hata hawana mtu na washirikia wengine hawana gufu wasasua hawana gufu kwa hiyo tunataka hawa mapatron wachukue hiyo nafasi ya kuja kusaidia mtoto wa kijana yule hana uwezo nataka kusema Kenya hii pali tuko 
tuko na kilio mingi sana kwa sababu tuko na shinda ya kukula kwanza bila badala ya mambo yote hata chakula ndio kitu ya kwanza tuko na shida ya shule tuko na shida ya mambo ile muhimu ya madawa na nini kwa hiyo tunaona hiyo kitu inataka kuletewa watu wetu ya kuenda kuwafinyilia saidi sisi ya tuchingi. na ni sababu tulishagua hawa mbunge waende mbunge watutetee ni lazima waende hapo watuonyeshe wanatutetea tunasema vile vile habari ya pombe tunajua pombe imeharibu wengi imefika pale tukafikiria wale hawajafaribika kwanza tuwalete karibu na sisi tuanze kwenda safari nzuri na ili sija tukaharibiwa watoto kuna mambo mingi ya gele business na ile ingine. Lazima tuwatoe hapo kwa sababu tuko na haja na watoto wetu sasa. Think is the beginning of things to come. It was a day to reckon with, but it was also a day uh, to reflect back to where we have come from and where we are going. It was also a day for confession for others. To confess and say that the gap between us and our children and, our, and particularly our sons is widening. Whether it is our faults as, as, as wazes or the children, that's not the point of discussion. But today, the important thing was to realize and to reckon and to accept that that is happening and that gap exists. So we are now, we have, today we have started on a long journey of reflection and of reflecting back and a discussion on how we need to, uh, to bridge that gap. So it was successful, well attended by Okadas, uh, Waze, women, youth, our children, and we are happy about it.